Hello everyone. As many of you know, in June there were bar citizens in Shanghai and Hong Kong. Here we have Sandy and Chris answering questions at bar citizen Shanghai. They were not there, they were connected via internet. I apologize for the very bad quality, that's the best I could find. I will include subtitles. I only show important parts. I hope you find this interesting and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Do both, I think we're definitely doing simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese for subtitles. And then longer term we have the same goal to have everything translated. So, and also on our website uh, for you guys. But that's a bit longer term project because obviously Star Citizen is so big. And, but our, our plan is to, to, to have full localization in Chinese on both uh, Squadron 42 and Star Citizen. You know, uh, I actually, I, you know, I know a lot of people always have competition about another game that's sort of in the same genre, but I feel that I love science fiction games, and so I'm going like Starfield comes out, uh, even though there's quite a few things that are fairly similar to what uh, we've been doing in Star Citizen and look quite similar. Uh, I'll still be playing it. I love uh, the Bethesda games. I like, uh, you know, like Skyrim or uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. So. Uh, you know, I think Todd Howard's a, a very talented game designer, so I'll be really interested to play it. And my opinion is that I think it's a, you know, it's a game that potentially will get more people interested in playing space games. Uh, you know, when I when I first you know pushed uh, launched uh, Star Citizen, everyone told me that like no one's interested in space games, it's dead. But you know, space games out here, no one wants to play PC games. And I was like, I don't believe that because I love these things. And I know a lot more than people love these things and I used to love them when I made the Wing Commanders back in, in you know, Bracteria and Freelancer back in the 90s. Um, and so for me, I think ultimately for Star Citizen, Starfield will be pretty good because there'll be some people that don't know about uh, Star Citizen that will play something like Starfield because it's getting this huge push from Microsoft and they'll play it and like, oh, I like this game, but you know what? I want to play with other people. I want to, I want to be able to seamlessly land on a planet and fly anywhere because you, you won't be able to do that in Starfield. I want to uh, meet, you know, meet my friends uh, or meet other players. You know, I want to have meet thousands of other players and build a life in a persistent universe with real people as well as AI. Don't say too much in Lego because Sorry. that's the translate. You've got to remember all. So I think ultimately it will be positive for Star Citizen because Starfield's a single player game. So after people have played Starfield and they look for something more, Star Citizen will be there. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a leg, yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. That's so cool. Look at it. And now we have Flickr self-destructing a hover quad at a caterpillar. Let's see if the caterpillar gets destroyed. Okay, Flickr, it's your show. I hope that Flickr can make it. <laughs> Self-destruct activated. I hope that Flickr can make it. <laughs> okay, I can... I can catch up to the caterpillar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see a landing gear. Hey, you're still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore SC.